A democracy is a fragile system, and for most U.S. citizens, our public schools are the only link to creating a democratically engaged society for future generations. We recognize that at Illinois State University, a public university in the heart of Illinois, land of Lincoln. And we're doing all that we can to strengthen our democracy through rigorous and engaging education. In the 1850s, the Prairie State was headed toward becoming the greatest agricultural power in the Union. I think what makes ISU unique uh, is its history. It was a time of dreams, big ideas of hope and a vision for the future. But the scarcity of trained, devoted teachers was impeding progress. It begins with the realization that Illinois State was founded in the middle of the 19th century by Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, acting as counsel for the state board, drew up the bond. It was actually created to ensure that they became a school that accepted also African Americans, particularly in a time in our history when this was not acceptable. I can't stress enough the importance of free public education and the great need of the state for teachers that this institution will provide. I hope that Illinois State Normal University will develop into an institution of wider scope than an ordinary normal school. The university started as a much smaller normal school, uh, has evolved into a modern university, and yet we've maintained that core idea that the university should leave public education improved, sustained, renewed. There's nothing more important to a democracy than a well-educated population. There's no institution more important to form that than the State Teachers College that makes sure teachers are doing a good job in their classrooms. We're a large institution preparing educators. In most of our programs, the largest prepare in the country. That's a point of pride for many of us, but as well, it's an obligation for all of us that if we're going to be preparing this many school leaders and teachers, they better be the best. So that has been our legacy and that connects us to our democratic ideal in a very solid and, and foundational way. Realizing the democratic ideal is what public education is all about. Realizing the democratic ideal means allowing each and every child the opportunity to have all of the knowledge and the skills and the support and the nurturing and the ability to become an engaged member of our society. If you're not teaching toward the democratic ideal, then you're simply job training. When enough people have opted out due to a lack of education, a lack of the skills they need, that allows for a political culture that fails to live up to our nation's highest ideals. To ensure that future generations realize the democratic ideal, here at Illinois State University, we have five pathways that guide our candidates towards successful careers in education. These five pathways are diversity, leadership, reflection, collaboration, and innovation. We'll start with diversity. The energy that runs this country is the differences, the infusion of new ideas. Whoever comes to our country, whatever endeavors they choose to engage in, we support the growth of the individual. To me, realizing the democratic ideal is creating a classroom where all cultures are included in the classroom. So it's not my culture or my language being superior, superior to theirs. It's that we're both equal and we're both learning from each other. I believe that I'm personally responsible for making sure that every student in my classroom gets the best education possible for them. So if this is our shape, what shape is that? Rectangle. It's a rectangle. That means that I learn how to teach and assess my students authentically, challenging them to critical thinking skills. So you want to figure out how many of the little squares are inside the rectangle. So can you count it for me? It's teaching them how it looks like to work with other people in a community. So what's 10 minus 3? Seven. Seven. I grew up in small, rural, Midwest America and had a lot of friends that were on the margins and were being excluded for a variety of reasons. And this kind of drove my desire to becoming a teacher and to have a classroom where maybe for the first time in their lives kids can feel safe somewhere. So trying to teach in a way that all kids feel that they're loved in my classroom and that they have a place there. 
we give all of our kids here an opportunity to be successful. And when I started as principal five years ago, one of the things that I really emphasized was the importance of relationships. And so I told our staff, if you build a relationship with your students, they'll learn from you. And I think ISU embodies that as well. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Right. For me, leadership is about, one, setting a good example for students and, and staff in my building, but then also not, um, not feeling like that every decision has to be made by me and by me alone. Well, it takes leadership to involve your community and to help everyone to make this dream of a democratic educational system work. So it's our job to make sure that we truly develop each one of our citizens because of their potential leadership ability. I like to get the opinions of other people because I value that. I value the opinions of, of particularly my assistant principals, our teachers, when it comes to things about our school. Have a good night. You too. Bye -bye. Come back to grade finals. Yes. <laughs> See you. My first day, um, I was a little shocked. I came from a first grade classroom um, and I moved to eighth grade, so that was a huge change. I was shocked at how social eighth graders are. I think I kind of forgot <laughs> when I was in eighth grade how social I was. Is rap poetry? Warning, I am answering this as a linguist, not a literary critic. So he's saying he doesn't study literature, he studies language. One of the eternal debates... My philosophy on teaching is just to instill a love of learning in students, to make them lifelong learners and develop their character um, and always being aware of who I am in the classroom and the way I'm presenting myself and how I respect the students and communicate with the students. Secondly, drop it like it's hot should be drop it as if it were hot. And what does it refer to anyway? And why do I have to drop it? Why can't I place it down gently? <laughs> we can't afford to experiment willy-nilly with what we think might work. We really need to be paying attention to what we've studied, we know works, and then in an aggressive way, taking on the challenges of what's there. We're engaging our partners in the public schools. They are working with us, not for us, not around us, but with us in deciding what are the skills, what is the knowledge, what are the dispositions that good, strong school leaders and teachers need to have. And that translates into what we're doing in our programs at Illinois State University right now. Say you were going to write a problem for me and then I have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So what do you think you could write? Um, through Illinois State, they've let me do a full year up here in Chicago. So I'm living in the middle of Little Village, right off of 26th Street. And I'm really spending this year being immersed in the culture here. So I've met some people, go to different home groups during the week. So trying to branch out and get to know the community so that I can better be able to teach my students. I've seen an immense amount of collaboration with teachers. They meet at least a few times a week and share ideas. I feel like I've seen throughout this year all the routines that a teacher goes through within a year. So seeing firsthand how that looks and how that works. Okay, so why do you think that the meter would be bigger? Five are bigger than three and seven jars. Uh-huh. You see those stack of meter sticks over there? Can you go get them and we can lay them out and see? Um, how much? Go get all of them. Go get the whole stack. There's more to teaching, there's more to education than just having facts. It's understanding children. It's having a caring attitude. And the idea that education is just memory and spit back doesn't educate people for a democracy. So how many do we have? Four. How many do you need? Five. What I try to do with my students here at ISU is to convey that sense of, wow, teaching is an honor, it's a privilege, and it's a huge responsibility. When you're student teaching, when you're four years into teaching, you might come back and visit our wiki and be like, I They are right a semester before student teaching, so all of them will student teach in the spring. We talk about what do they want their classroom environment to look like, um, how do they want their classroom to run, and how do they get there. So what do they expect of students? How do they convey those expectations? Like that. Have you guys done links in live text before? When we keep the class at 10 or under, allows for better discussion. Students can share their viewpoints better. They can experience more together. Our um, registration doesn't even show up. I was like, 
What? Yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah, cause it, it's a closed, it has zero seats because only student teachers can register. It. They've been told for a long time it's going to be the hardest thing they've ever done. So they're excited because this is what they want to do, and they're very nervous to see how well they'll do at it and how well prepared they are. And so that's what's really neat about the student teaching semester is they're working with those students day in and day out, and they're really learning what the career is, you know, what the workload is, and they learn how to appreciate that level of learning that those students bring in. Otherwise, guys, we are done for the semester. And so it's through diversity, leadership, reflection, collaboration, and innovation that we prepare candidates to realize a democratic ideal. Since 1857, we've always supported the public school system in this country. We're committed to assuring that every child has an effective teacher. These are the ideals that we've always held as our highest priorities, and we work very hard to be the conduit through which caring and capable teachers pursue a higher mission. We will settle for nothing less. ISU is in a great position. ISU is known as being an awesome place to become a teacher. We're realistic and idealistic, and I think that combination creates quality education for students. The schools of this country are staffed more with Illinois State University graduates than any other one institution in the country. These teachers are moving in all directions across the nation and we can be the leaders in developing in them the skills and the disposition and the knowledge to really change America. ISU is where it needs to be right now and as long as we keep moving in the same direction I think we'll remain one of the leaders. We used to say if you want to be a teacher come to Illinois State University. Now we say if you want to be a teacher you must come to Illinois State University. After all, Illinois State University is a key place where our students and their students will be realizing the democratic ideal for generations to come.